this is velvet leaf and I'll put some pictures up that I just took before I took these out really easy to identify because it has these seed pods on them before they go into flower the leaves feel velvety they're a huge heart shaped kind of leaf they're really soft this is also known as nature's toilet paper interesting facts in China they make a rope out of the fibers really easy to make the fire or really easy to make the rope um, the seeds are edible they may have some tannins in them so it might be a good idea to boil them a couple times wash the tannins out I've never actually ate the seeds I know other people who have ate the seeds and they say they don't really have any taste to them whatsoever or they're not really that great tasting so I just kind of skip it um, to make the ropes though the fiber is really easy to harvest you basically just start at the bottom and break this off and you can see that the outer part of it which is where the fibers is at will basically just peel all the way up the stalk so then once you have this peeled off then it's basically just doing like a reverse strand or however you make your rope it could be used for like make netting make rope uh, if you're building a shelter that sort of thing the leaves make a really good toilet paper <laughs> if you're out hiking or you're out in the woods and you gotta go to the bathroom and you can find one of these this is better than Charmin I'm telling you it's a good plant to know the bad thing about it I do not let it grow anywhere in my garden if I see it in my garden I immediately pull it up just like I just did the reason being is these seeds once they fall and hit the ground they're viable for 50 years you'll find this thing growing in gardens along disturbed soil places that sort of thing because basically once those seeds are in the ground they lay dormant until something disturbs the ground and moves them closer to the surface where they're within about one or two inches of the top of the soil and then they'll sprout and bloom and go through their cycle one plant can produce I believe it's 17,000 seeds so if I see them growing I pull them up these are actually growing over here there's actually another one over there just noticed I missed one I missed one we got to get him out of there too there you can kind of see there's kind of what the flowers look like there's what the seed pods look like there's what the leaves look like there's what the stem looks like these pull up really easy you just give them a little tug I usually shake the soil off the end of them and now I have interrupted their growth cycle I'll put these somewhere else I'll actually put them in a compost pile or somewhere where the temperature is going to get really hot and destroy them but if I find them growing anywhere I pull them up this is all most of it is all sunflowers that I planted late in the season for the bees what did I leave out here ah a rake I wondered where that rake was now I know um, <laughs> anyways that's sunflowers they should be blooming probably about toward the end of September first part of October I always put out an early version of sunflower and a late version of sunflower for the bees anyways that's all I wanted to go on this is again this is velvet leaf this is originally imported from an Asian country I don't know if it come from China or Japan or where it come from but originally imported from an Asian company spread all over the United States easy to identify does have some uses does have edible seeds the leaves make great toilet paper the fibers make great ropes and netting so uh, that's a good one to have on your survival plants thanks for watching this is a young velvet leaf coming up right next to potatoes <laughs> you can kind of see the shape of the leaf why I call it a heart shape they are kind of heart shaped when they're younger when they get bigger they overlap and they don't look that way but uh, I pull them up.
anywhere I see them growing. Nice to have, like if you're out in a field or someplace like that and you got to go to the bathroom, nice to have. Growing in your garden, not so good at all.